Neharah yaudona hea sūrāra. Hei gunāra, nādu hea wala hea gudang hūna gudona. Nāra. In the beginning, the Word was God. And God was the Word. And the Word was with God. Because the Word had made become flesh and dwelt among Raziel, the God has a sword to be Raziel, the helper. Raziel, who went to see the woman in a spirit of my mom, my other spirit. To see that the word is will have to incarnate. I was the word. Once was the Holy Spirit, the helper, Razil. It was I who showed up to the woman when she said yes. I turned to become a dove and covered her and flung the fruit in the womb to protect from the griffin to take the word. I was the word who made to incarnate. The word who was with the father and my twin. I was the one when we were making the world was. I speak the word as I was an eight-year-old child. And along with the others, I speak. And we say what we want to say, like in a wand, wishing. And Aya would often say, let. Right after we say the word, he would say let. When he said let, what we desire given. You are the word, the helper of the so called Holy Spirit. I was the ones was with God. The word of my God, the word of I, as I am. From the Father, to Him, to I. You are the word that sent to the world to be a helper, to replenish the world. For spirits born in spirit, and flesh are born in flesh. You were born in spirit of water before the creations and become flesh. So as the word, the world was a spirit and made flesh through me given by my God. My God, God's. Once was a deity, Rahil, the fourth tempt. I have to incarnate. Rasil, they called humanoid. I was the word that made flesh. And dwelt among Razil, thy cold humanoid. As I was and has to incarnate from the Father, thy cold heaven, from the Father with the God. Father is with the God. God is with the Father. I was with God. You are the word of God's. You are son of man. The helper of the Holy Spirit 
they call daughter of God. I am, I, the sparrow, the Maya, we call Maya. I only learn and gain the title of my yacht when I died in this sand few years ago and surpasses the lows of my yacht that she passed on to me just like the passing of the dove to the world in the word I Understand, I gain the title of Mayat when I pass, when I died in this end few years ago. For a few days, three days reversals when I was the Christ. For surpassing the laws of heaven, which is it was the last title I must get. To become the third tenth. Be whole with them. As he is seven, I have six. Gaining the razzle is fourteen. Balance, seven, seven. I was the word that made flesh. That dwelt among the humanoid. You are my helper to replenish the world as you once born in spirit and have to be born in flesh to for it to be replenished for my gods to come you know we will come we will come if it's right to the eyes of my gods there's no more to be incarnate as they are all here. You are all here. From the Greek thing and to enough. The God will come only if the word be come. Pleasing into the eyes of my father. You think the world like this? There's holes, you know, there's, oh, there's nothing nice in it. You know, there's nothing nice in it. It's full of trash. Trash from the humans and trash in humans. Just a bean. Humans. In the beginning, when you were born in spirit of water and made flesh furnished and purged through the fire of hell. That is why I don't say H E L L because you were punished. From there, before you become what you are now. You've been there. Then I say that uh, your part will be thrown into the hell, into the fire. Indeed, you were. Your spirit. That is why you feel sickness. That is why you feel uh, Wary, because part of you are somewhere being forged. Part is your spirit. The what is mistake of you humans is you take things literally when it is not once was not your truth. As your spirit is the truth and not once was not your flesh. Women, you were all sent here to battle and to strive to be called son of man. Man means a man with a strong will fighter not like you, dickheads. Soft. You, you soft dickheads, they call stupids. 
Because we don't want things to happen again before the creations of the world when your spirits becomes haughty. You called N-E-U-G. You know? Oh, Dilahara. Haughty is what's the right name because you become envious. Haughty means unneat, unfit. Because you become like called language, dickheads, they call spirits. Stupids. You think you will say now, oh, she wish she's uh, talking like that. You think you are righteous and I am evil, right? You must. If you are self-righteous, there's nowhere for you. You are not fit. And you are unfit to be called heaven. Because you will never balance the earth. You take things literally and think you are upright. And you are always right. No, you're not. You're not because you are the called silly. Hot. Hot. I like neither cold. I like lukewarm. But you are just hot because you think of self-righteousness. I am perfectionist. And he is the only one is perfect and can make the perfect. As he, the God, Father, is the righteous. You think because I say you are dickhead, you are stupid, you are whatever you call yourself you are. In any way, in a bad way. That is how you learn things. That is how you learn how to be strong. You are not, you are a child if you are called dickhead and then you feel like, oh, why is, you know? You are the one is child. Because you don't understand how it's be. Because grown up, don't act softness. Grown up, don't act like dickheads. They are fighter. They don't mind whatever others call them. Just like when they were calling me crazy when I was Jesus. But through that, I realize that there is the end. And now, when I hear people around me swears, it hurts. It hurts because you are swearing to yourself. To yourself where your spirit is. There's many swears that humans, is, your words is already a swearing. It's blasphemous. We have other way to say things. Like dickheads. It's still not right for me. But that is what you call the con lingo language. But that way, when you called one, you will become strong. Because that is how I was trained. I just cry. I cry. But... Your language is the more blasphemous than the swearings you are doing. Blasphemous as it's like a sword being tarak, they called stab in the body. You don't feel it because you are humans and mortal. I am a spirit and immortal in my mortal. To be called dickheads is nothing than being blasphemy. Humans, to blaspheme the word of my God is really, really, really the worst sin you have made. As it is a curse. 
a curse that whenever you spoke the word, it will become your burden. Burden because you just keep thinking about it and keep thinking about it until you are disturbing the gods. Because that is how you disturb them when you keep thinking about them. When you supposed to pray to them. You know? That is the heads of the dragon. The heads of the Satan, the beast. Not dragon because dragon is, uh, you know, is um, um, uh, majestic. It's a majestic. Beast is different to majestic. Dragon is a majestic. Beast is something that you will err. Uh, you feel like that. You feel gross. Gross. You know, understand the difference of the dragon. The dragon and the beast. The, be the beast is a, is a gross looking thing. Well, the dragon is a majestic that floats and swims around the moon. Have you seen that? I was once scarred by the white cubi you call dragon. It's dragon, you call them. We call them dragon for red. Not to blaspheme the Father who really is the one. We are the cubs. You know? Understand that you are a word yourself that dwells among thyself. I was the word who was with God and the word was God. For you I came to be put all together, but over time you become and more and more thy cold odilahara. Ignorante! Cold ignorant. Be cold, Lara. It's so like a scroll of a very bitter, 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 so bitter scroll. Hmm. That is what you are. You become like that. If your minds are open to all things around you and accept what is you hear, then you are the true believer. Feeling, feeling so righteous is you are worse than the Pharisees. You exceed. Like, oh, how can you become the God, son of God when you are the son of that woman and this man? You know? Because you think the way they are. So low. It's just like them. But those who feel through their hearts is the wise, the three kings of wise men who travels means listens. You men, women, you can't be too righteous because like a skill, you will be hurled down to the bottom. Hurled, H-U-R-L-E-D. You know, just like how Satan, you call Santi. Satan is uh, actually humans is blasphemer to, to the what to that name is blaspheme. You are blaspheming. Santi. Sante is called, was the one who was hurled to the earth as he was 
to self-righteous. That's why he's been thrown down. Because he feels just like you. Feeling so righteous. You've been deep in the hole of the wall. Abyss. Habis. You know the ivory? Or you know the ivory, the, the, the horn of the, the balak, the cow? Balak, cow, the carabao. Cow, a cow, balak, cow. Because you have things, uh, cow was the you called now a carabao, carabao was, the, was now the cow. You know how things uh, become? That's where you were hurled. Right to the bottom pit of the abom. See, you know the, the very, 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 very uh, small, uh, the pointer of the, of the turn, of the horns. It's just like where you are. And it's so hard to get you out there. Because you are too feel righteous. That's why you're stuck right to the very end of that hole. Of that horn. Ivory. Even my, uh, my cane. Of the golden sisha. The, the, the road. Can't get you out there. Why? Because you can't hear me. You despise what I say. Why? Because you were once and is until now. Yourself is a lily bed who feels too righteous. And over time, until you got nothing, you sold me your spirits. Until you have nothing left to be reward because you have not done any work. The work of my father. That all you do is just pay to me. Every time you call me, come Holy Spirit. That is what you do every time you call me, come Holy Spirit. I don't do things for free. But you want things easily. You make promises. And you don't uh, follow what uh, you made. What you promised. And even personally, even this lifetime, in personal, I don't like being promised. When you promise me something, you have to do it. Or else I will keep reminding you through it until... You never be found. So that's what happens. When you call Holy Spirit, when you call as I am your God, with my twin, you think uh, you ask and everything is just... Uh, Easy when uh, when I have, I was slain for 72 times and you think it's easy to salvation? And then all you do is uh, delusions and uh, you call the... Ay, floating up the air, they call visions. Over the moon, think... Over the moon, but out of the moon. Why? Because you are on yourselves thinking that I'll come and pick flowers. When every time you call me, come Holy Spirit, you got nothing. Not even a thank you. Thanks God for everything. And that is why I take what is yours spiritually. I take what's yours is spiritually until now you got nothing left because all you do come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. But never a thank you. I hear from you to thank the, those who sent me. Every time you say come Holy Spirit, 
Never ever you say thanks God for everything. That is how you please my father. Thanks God for everything. Everything. In good and in bad still have thank God for everything. Because all you do is come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. You don't do work on your own. You're always just relying the Holy Spirit when you yourself can do things on your own. Because once in a, you know, you were a word that was with the Father. You are all are. The word and what you do in what you do in life is journey. It's a journey of life. Like an actress in a TV with a role to play. You get me. And now is the end for the revelation of who's going to take the best reward. It's like a pageant who made everything and that one I we, we, was been working throughout incarnation till to the very end gain all those because all you've been doing to me, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, until you got nothing left. Nor even to thank God for everything you never say. That is why there is calamities happening to the world. Because there's so many called Nismo. Nicolaitans. You are the Nicolaitans. Christianismo. That is why you got nothing left to reward of your own because if here already you you've been blabbering, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, until the very end you got nothing left to be given to give, and then you you expect a reward when all you do is relying on the Holy Spirit, not working of your own. What reward are you expecting when you have not done any work? Marahu sa garahuna hiyagunara amen.